I'm forced to do this video about Ghana. You know, these guys are living in lies. You know, when they come out, they speak about Nigeria in the negative light. You know, talking about no electricity in Nigeria. Talking about poverty rates in Nigeria. I want to hear of this. Talking about, um, you know, crime rates and all those kind of things in Nigeria on social media. That is quite disturbing. I'm in Nigeria, so I have to defend my country. I have to speak about Ghana to an extent because these guys are living in lies. And they are making you believe that it's rosy in Ghana. We have a lot of negative news about Ghana. Their economy is really, really weak right now. And they don't want to see that because they just want to paint a picture, a perfect picture of Ghana. And still, we have a lot of uh, you know poor people in Ghana. These guys are really suffering unemployment in Ghana and they don't want to talk about it. Why are people in Ghana complaining about their president Bye -bye. I am not my that is the question you need to ask yourself why are some people in ghana you know poor that is the question you need to ask yourself and a lot of people need to actually look at this i have some points i want to like you know talk about so that a lot of people will get to understand that ghana is really suffering and they need help internationally they just took uh, some billions of dollars as loan and a lot of people blasted their president for that i think we need to look at it africa is fighting one common enemy and that is poverty that is um you know the dominance of the western world and other things instead of them to look at it from that point of view these guys are busy talking down on nigeria ghana growth rate remains weak since 2024 at two 0.8 percent that is really really weak for me and they are not talking about it and it's affecting their gdp and a lot of people are suffering a lot of businesses are suffering in ghana as a result of this what do you understand by you know growing economy ghana is not in the league of growing economy right now it was before because of the export of goods uh, because of the export of cocoa and other things but right now we don't have all of these a lot of people have come into the market and now stealing the revenue away from ghana and instead of them to fight a cause like that these people are trying to you know pride themselves up above nigeria you keep fighting nigeria every day in terms of entertainment in terms of you know sports and other things but Nigeria is doing better than you in terms of sports, in terms of entertainment and other aspects, in terms of businesses and other things. Because Nigeria right now is one of the uh, biggest economy in Africa. When you count number two, you should count Nigeria. That is something you need to understand about that. But you can count 10, 20 without counting Ghana because their economy is small. You know, the economy of Lagos State alone is bigger than Ghana economy. The seventh biggest economy in Africa, that is a Lagos economy. And you need to understand that, you know, Ghanaians, they are not really looking inward to see that we are really feeling. And that is a common and a psychological problem they need to come out from. Certificate. And as a result of this weak economy, inflation is inflated. You know, um, interest rate has been elevated by their central bank, and a lot of people are really complaining in Ghana. I have some, you know, business friends talking about Ghana on a daily basis to me. These guys are really fed up because of this kind of things happening in Ghana. But when they come on the surface, they talk otherwise, say that there's constant electricity in Ghana. I will tell you about that. Ah! Ghana started experiencing, you know, um, fluctuating electricity since 2015, and these guys are not really talking about it. Let's dive into that. You can never make it. The recurrent power outage started in 2015, and these guys need to actually understand that it is something that is affecting their economy right now. Maybe some politicians. Uh, have compromised in Ghana and which they really know. Instead of them to face their politicians, instead of them to face their problem, right now they are fighting Afrobeat, they are fighting rap in Nigeria and other things. I think these guys are really, you know, kind of misplacing priority and it's really affecting them. What is the buying power of a Ghanaian? That 
is the question you need to ask yourself. What is the buying power of a Ghanaian? Even their artists, what is the buying power of their artists? That is the question you need to ask yourself. Google the richest artist in Africa. You know, if you find Ghanaian in number four, just you know stop watching this channel you will not find them and these guys are coming out to say they are this they are that ghana is too small the economy of ghana is not up to legal state that is something they need to actually understand now ghana's electric company e c g recently called power supply to the parliament to the house parliament house where some people were trapped in elevator and they don't really talk about it you know this is a report that is online there and a lot of people can really attest to that we've questioned a lot of people that witnessed that and they spoke much about that and these guys are coming out to say you know what we have constant electricity in ghana that is all lies you know i think you cannot cut power supply in national assembly in nigeria i think you cannot cut power supply you know in uh, at uh, the villa that is something you need to understand but Ghanaians, they did it to their politicians you know some people were trapped in elevator they almost died that is something you need to look inward and get to understand that these guys are really a problem but they don't want to acknowledge that they have problems that is where it becomes difficult to solve why did they cut power supply because the parliament house was owing about 23 million ghana cities that is 1.8 million dollars that is a huge amount of money and a lot of people are really getting interested in this and saying that ghana you guys can lie you you know is it that they talk about their currency these guys went to remove four zeros digits from their currency just to balance up and now they are suffering the effect instead of them to look inward look at their politicians and other things they abuse the fighting nigerians you know their problem plenty 91 hospitals also faced power cut in ghana and patients are going to die in that hospital and most people died as a result of that so what are they telling us what are they really telling us right now so that is something i don't understand when you go online go and google some verify you know pages and get your story get your fact you will understand that these guys they need uh, solutions to their problem instead of them to face it their youth are eating banco and saying sakodi is the best this uh, shadawali is the best and all those things and these guys are struggling to compete with ashake as an upcoming artist <laughs> or as a new cat that is something a lot of people need to actually understand about the whole thing i love Ghanaians, i love this thing but they should learn how to face and tackle their problem they have a lot to deal with why are they disconnecting these 91 hospitals because they are owing about 20 million dollars as you know electric bills that is something really disturbing at the time they are owing 20 million dollars as electric bills that is something disturbing at the time and a lot of people are saying they need to find a lasting solution to this but their people are not looking at that direction so they have a lot to really cope with. Uh, the likes of Sharawali is sensible enough to understand that, man, we Ghanaians, we have a lot to deal with. You know, we should forget about Nigerians. Ghanaians likes pulling each other down. That is coming in from, you know, Efia, a musical uh, artist. And a lot of people are really talking about saying that, man, <laughs> you know what? Ghana gets a lot of problems to solve. So they should start, you know, facing it right now before it escalates. And it has already escalated. You know, they did a lot of commotions, you know, towards the Coachella and other things, towards uh, some kind of international Afro nation and the rest. But right now, some nations, some event organizers are boycotting Ghanaians because of their problems. They are always contentious. They are always ready to fight. They are always, you know, feeling oppressed. That is their problem. Right now, they should tackle it inside. You know, I listened to Sakodi's um, particular rap called Press. He spoke about Ghana music industry. They are not representing them on international platforms. And that is quite disturbing to an extent. Ghana music industry is full of open your legs offer. That is coming in from a female Ghanaian artist who is based 
in Switzerland called Selly. And a lot of people can really attest to that, you know, based on what they have experienced in the industry. Why are they now fighting Nigeria? That is the question many people are really asking. They feel that Nigeria is taking their, you know, kind of their glory and all those kind of things, but they've not fixed their home. They've not fixed their music industry. They should try and do that instead of fighting Nigeria. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog across social media platforms.